Welcome to Review Time with Tim. Today, I'm checking out the Firewalk Molten Chili Chicken Flavor. Hot and spicy. Look at this, Max Peppers. Now, I have done something similar to this one, but not quite. As always, subscribe to my channel, smash the likes, comments below, and let's get into today's Firewalk Molten Chili Chicken Flavor Review. So today's review, we're bringing it out with the hot and spicy Firewalk Molten Chili Chicken Flavor. Okay, instant bowl of noodles on the side here. It says, take the challenge. It says, fiery chili noodle coated with a spicy yet tangy Korean chili pepper sauce that builds the heat with every single bite. So, and then there's um, <clears throat> scorching sesame shrimp, which I believe I've done that review. And same thing with a sizzling, I don't know if I've done sizzling rich pork. Uh, but this one, molten chili chicken. Woo! This is going to be a pleaser, hopefully. All right. I've already kind of started to get the process rolling on that. Of course, we have our seasoning mix. We have our dehydrated goodies. Of course, we have the molten sauce there and of course we have the dry noodles all right so i'm gonna package it all up cook it up and then we'll be right back as for the packaging today i loved it it definitely stands out on the shelf like 100 percent. this stands out on the shelf uh and, you know and i love the fiery flames and all that that goes with it so i'm gonna hit this with an eight today on the packaging packaging gets an eight all right, so I have the hot and spicy Firewalk molten chili chicken flavor right here. Ooh, it is lava red, okay, or lava orangey. Uh, as you can see in this photo here that I am posting, you can really see the color pop. Woo, unbelievable color. Unbelievable. Now... We're going to get into a smell test. Can definitely it definitely smells spicy. It's making my mouth water quite a bit. Kind of pleasant. It's really just more of a spicy smell to be honest. I think I'm going to hit this with a 4 today on the smell. 4 on the smell. All right, next up we have the most important part, the taste test. The bowl, oh, look at the steam coming off of this. I don't know if that's going to pick it up or not, but this thing is steaming. Ooh, it looks good though. Looks good, look at that. All right, couldn't find my chapsticks my chapstick i couldn't find my chopsticks so now i have to use a fork <sighs> temperature hot i'm gonna have to wait a minute I can, the Korean spice is definitely <coughs> digging in. Not as bad as the Samdam Baldock Korean fire noodles that I did review back a long time ago. But it definitely reminds me whew, of those noodles. Uh, but not as, not as hot. But temperature right now, I can't. Eat this temperature wise i gotta let this sit a few more minutes way too hot temperature wise spicy wise it's there but temperature too hot so i'll be right back Woo. all right 
let's try a few more bites. As I said, temperature hot. There's quite a bit of spice coming through this. It does remind me of the other Korean package of noodles that I did a review on, the Samdam Baldock. I'm not, probably not saying that right. Anyway, you can check back in my food reviews uh, almost probably a year ago. Uh, but anyway, uh, but it reminds me of that. And it does say Korean spice on it. So, it's got a hint of sweetness to it that starts off nicely. And then it moves to the spice, which then hits you in the back of the throat and like the top of the inside of your nasal cavity a little bit. A little bit of tingle around my lips on this, uh, but not awful. Just a little tingle. Just a little tingle. Whew. If you like spice and everything nice, this would be a good one. It's not too overpowering, but it is going to give you some heat. Uh, so for that today on the taste test, I'm going to hit this with a six. I'm going to tally it all up, and I'm going to get my overall for the day. Whew. So for today, this one is coming in at 18 out of 30 total possible points. So a nice, good, high score. Pretty tasty, pretty spicy, fairly cheap on the price. I mean, you're looking at something that's under $1.75. I think I even got this one for $1 at my local grocery store. So for the price, and if you like the heat, and you like a little, a tiny bit of, tiny bit of sweetness, and you want that, that kick to whoop, wake you up a little bit, mm, right here, 18 out of 30, folks. All right, as always, subscribe to my channel, smash likes, comments below, and uh, I will check you all later.